I was Miss Popular in school. All the girls and people in school wanted to know me and be my friend. As a young kid, I was the most naughtiest, active, full of energy child ever. I used to love riding bikes and skateboarding and I used to ride horses. I used to be an 18 swimmer and that came all to an end. My dream in my life was to become a veterinarian and on the 1st of August 2005 my dream was shattered. We were coming back from our business that evening on Jim Fisher Road and a car pulled out in front of us and my husband tried to avoid an accident, swerved and a car coming at quite a speed came and uh, we had a head-on collision. And I just remember seeing bright lights and the rest I uh, was out then and it was just blank. I stayed awake through the whole thing. My husband was hit unconscious. He was lying on, this, on the steering wheel. I flung forward. I broke my dad's seat in his heart because I was not wearing my safety belt. For me to accept that my child was going to be paralysed forever, that was the hardest. That was the real hardest thing to accept. I have had four reconstructive brain surgeries, three reconstructive jaw surgeries that I've got pins in my jaw, I've had three, and three reconstructive foot surgeries. And when I saw Nicole for the first time, I couldn't talk for 24 hours. I didn't want to talk to people because that was not my little girl lying there. A simple thing like tying your shoelace, buttoning up your belt or your pants, that has been taken away from me. It won't only change your life for one second or a minute or a year. It's for the rest of your life. Ten years down the line, I'm sitting here, I still got a disability, I wake up every morning to and say, if I had just buckled up. It only takes five seconds to buckle your child up. This could be the difference between life and death. Please buckle up. Buckling up may only take five seconds, but that five seconds can determine the rest of your life.